welcome back to Queenie of London. Thank you so, so much for popping by the channel. It's lovely to see you and I hope you've all had a really, really good week since I saw you last. Thank you so, so much for all your lovely comments on the last video. I'm so, so glad you enjoyed it. So here we are for another edition of Queenie's London Weekly and this week is a Valentine's Day special. We are going to be hitting the London shops to see everything they've got on their shelves for Lover's Day next week. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's Monday morning when I'm filming this. It's rather grey and miserable outside. <laughs> but what was that Dickens said about beholding London at the height of its glory and the dark and the murk of the winter? <laughs> We're doing that, but we'll start this vlog <laughs> with some nice, nicer clips that I took over the weekend of Chelsea dressed for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go to work now. I'm dressed for work. I've just got on a Jager dress and I've got on some, there's pooch down there, some white boots from top shop just to give it a bit of a 60s edge <laughs> so i'm gonna head to work and i will see you later in the shops to pouring rain, monsoon rain. <laughs> but here we are, we're back in Chelsea, so all is good. It's the kind of night, I'm not sure I would agree with Dickens, to be honest, it is the kind of night where you really just wanna wear your duvet, and that's what they're doing in Peter Jones's windows. Look at these, how cool are these? Kind of look like a really comfy wedding dresses. They're actually duvets. Look at the art, it's very good. Look at this one as well. That just reminds me of E17. They're working it though, so you can wear your duvet to beneficial couture effect. <laughs> I really like them, I think they're fun. This one's probably my particular favorite. <laughs> they're pretty good. Now let's head in and see what they've got for Valentine's. Obviously over there, Tiffany, that's always good for uh, Valentine's. <laughs> some bits guys just in this bit here with the um kitcheny stuff this is lovely i like this one fun it's all retro but here we go let's have a little look and see what they've got we've got charbonnel obviously i like this um, little tray set up with the little heart sweets in oh my gosh i'm sure we'll find some more hotel chocolat around the corner how sweet is this how they've displayed it look at how we've got the little charbonnel hearts too cute oh hang on Look at these Hotel Chocolat strawberries and cream puddles. Mmm. Oh, and look at those. Aren't they cute little ice biscuits? What have we got here? It's just duplicated down there. Oh my god, look at this. Ooh, who's a boozer? And see these sweets? Sweets in the city. I had some of them at Halloween and Christmas, and I'm really happy. There's a gigantic one for um, Valentine's. Is. We'll find out. I'm sure we'll see some of this again around the corner. And then we've got like some bubbles down there, but I can see the hotel chocolate stuff there. So let's go check it out. And look at these pink Marc de Champagnes, 10.50. Very pretty. These boxes are nice. Look at these, Cartwright. Those are 40, and the little ice biscuits are 20. Who makes them? Steph. Oh, look at these fancy bottles and the ransom. You get some glasses in that for 64 pounds. And I love these little Charbonnel handbags. They are adorable. You get like the little shoe chocolates inside. What are they? 
Oh, they're Vinci. I love those. They sell them in um, Harrods, but they have a shop Vinci now. Right, let's go to Hotel Chocolat. All right, the Hotel Chocolat. Look at the big old heart. How gorgeous. She must get some proper nice flavours in that one. And I'm oh, so tempted by those. I like these um, little H boxes. These are always really nice to get. There you go. And they're the flavours that you get. They're always so, so nice. Beautiful. I like Hotel Chocolat Chocolat because it's not so sickly. Sometimes I find the other brands quite sickly. These are gorgeous. Look, these like half moon shapes. How much is that? There's no, oh, there you go, 15. That's quite good for that big box. Does it have a breakdown for us? You can check out all the flavours. What else do we have? They're just staring at me, guys. <laughs> um, look at these little sweeties. How adorable are these? Little lovebirds. Those are cute. How much are those? Let me see if I can just find you a prize. Those are $8.95. Then you've got the Sleekster. We normally go for these. I love this packaging. It's glam. Totally glam. These work out really good value. Because they're literally all the fun that you get. So good. These work out really good value. Recommended. And oh, look at this. You can get like the little liqueurs with a gorgeous vase. I do like their liqueurs. We like to have them at Christmas time. And then you have, oh, these are little cigars. Oh, they're batons now. Not, they're not cigars, they're batons. <laughs> and then you've got some more of the little lovebirds. So that's a little section of Hotel Chocolat. I just love saying that. <laughs> little display here, like little merch. And this is Kath Kitston. I don't know what's inside it. Is it Sweeties? Kath Kitston. We lost her shops, didn't we? But I like to see her about. Like that case. Huh. It's just a wash bag, but it's pretty cute. And I like all the little hearts about. Look at these. Little sippy cups. And little oh, stationary bits. <laughs> oh, I like these. Look how nice these pens are. How much are they? Bargain. Candle. Oh, here you've got like smaller ones as well. Sweet, you can probably find all these on John Lewis' website. And I love these little heart tea lights. They are three, apparently. What are these about? Little, are they padlocks? <laughs> Those are sweet. Little bit there. And some faux flowers. Oh, and you've also got a pencil case that matches. How sweet. And some big old flowers. No, oh, I love the cards that John Lewis do. They are so pretty in here and you always get a good selection. Look at this. How sweet is that? If you had a, a long distance. I, I like that always on my mind. Is that Emma Bridgewater? And uh, you're my cup of tea. They're so sweet. That retro heart. <laughs> no better guys even after just spending some time in peter jones's now i think cadogan should pay peter jones's <laughs> to run this covering all down the king's road from station right the way to the end just an idea <laughs> Stop. partridges let's see what's going on in there look pretty i love how they hang things from the ceiling in here and look at the tinsel over the deli i love the way partridges set things out look at these little cuties how sweet are they and look up there oh i love all this packaging the little tiny ones there wow i'm probably going to see a lot of charbonnel in here oh my gosh look at these these are sweet 12.95 they should be. <laughs> I like these too. Look at these. A bit better. 375. <laughs> Marshmallows and little bags. Look at them. They are cute. 9 and 45. 
Oh, look at the flower biscuits. $27.50. They better taste good for that. And there's another lobster. Lobsters are in this year. Oh my god, I love these cupids. Oh, they are adorable. Can you have a milk chocolate? Oh, they're the best thing I've seen <laughs> in all the shops. So good. And what do we have here? I love you. These look like little eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> and a little bouquet down here. I don't think that's for sale. Oh, and that one also comes in red, obviously. And then I've got some more behind me. This is all your Charbonnel. they probably got a better selection than um, John Lewis. I can't remember what it's called. $39.95, the truffle selection heart. Core. Take me about 10 minutes to eat all them. Oh, what's these? <gasps> Cherry. Oh, yum. I quite fancy one of them. They are cute too, the little teddy ones. And look at these beautiful little heart boxes. I hope you're seeing the prices. My uh, glasses are fogged because I've gone from cold to warm. <laughs> They're sweet. And round. Oh, hang on, guys, look at the lovely velour heart for Charbonnel. They're all the truffle, truffles. Are they milk? Oh, milk and dark, 42. There's me angels again. I just love it all. I love this one here. That's really nice of the gold packaging. How do you say that, Ghislaine? I hope you're having a good look. Oh. Is there any more behind me? I don't think so. I think it's just these two little stands. Oh, look at these. Whilst I'm in here, I might go and look at the American section. Oh, I've got a little tip for you, but I'll whisper it, yeah. You know Chips Ahoy? You can buy Chips Ahoy in here, the American cookies. They're really dear, but if you buy Marks and Spencers, like just the ones in the little packet, they taste exactly the same. <laughs> that's how we're looking. So that's our little display in Partridges this year. These lovebirds, how cute are they? $16.95, little... Oh, look how sweet the decorations are. Look, it's just really pretty. Look, they've even got like pretty lighting going on as well. Look at their ice biscuits. More Charbonnel and a little tea set with the partridges on. How romantic would that be? A little morning tea and your partridges set on Valentine's morning. Like them napkins. Nice little bits for the table in here. So pretty. Lots of lovely effort gone to. Lovely. Rain's still happening guys. We're gonna trot on down to Flying Tiger next. This is Duke of York Square in the rain. No one's sitting outside today. <laughs> this is very pretty, even in the dismal rain. Oh, guys, I'm glad to be in the drive. I have come into Tiger now to have a little look. We looked in the windows the other day, didn't we? But I thought we'd nip in because I came in here for a little glasses chain <laughs> the other day to put my glasses around my neck. And I thought they had some really nice bits, so I thought I'd show you. We've got some little jars and some cups and some lights, and I love these. Look at these. How sweet are these lovely things? How much are they? They are £1.50. Bargain chocolate. Got these little bits here. They're them letters. Like, they just look like that. You could probably fill them up. What's this? Oh, I like the little heart timer. That's really sweet. That's glass as well. How much is that? That is £2. Oh, I hope I dry off a little bit in here. <laughs> you know when it's proper windy rain and it's all like gone everywhere and it's got the bottom of my coat wet, which is rather annoying. <gasps> what are these? These are massive huggable hearts. How sweet. £12. They're good. Sorry, <laughs> you zoomed in. Uh, I got, oh, I like these. I didn't see these the other day. Oh, they're really cute. They're awkward to hold, though, but you could put makeup brushes in there. They look quite sweet. Six, uh, five pound. And they got their mugs there. I love the handles. That's really nice. I really like that one. Where's the little price tag for you? That's five as well. Oh, look, you warm my heart. What is that? Oh, it's very heavy. Oh, it's one of those things that you pop in the microwave. What are these? 
comfy socks and foot lotion. That is six. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and then they've got really sweet little eyes, don't you think? <laughs> They're cute. We've got flasks. And what are they? Oh, and little lobster mugs. What's this? Oh, like a little game. Spin out. Uh. <laughs> okay, four pounds. And what are these here? Oh, I love white chocolate. Sometimes it's uber uber sweet, but if you get it good, it's nice. I love these little cards with the actual teddy attached. They're four pounds. You can have a bear or a panda. Oh, and up the top here, you've just got like balloons, like the helium balloons and some bunting, which is really nice. And a lovely gift box, which is glittery. And I love these, because they're like velvety. Those are sweet. And here, you're going with the lobster theme. <laughs> and a little box of paper roses. You've got some awards. I think they have them all the time, to be fair. And then here, we have got some red stuff little trinkets and that there's some more behind me I like this lips one that'd be good for makeup brushes £3.50 and a little connect four game there it is and what have we got along here we've got some fluffy pens and notebooks and ah oh, like these oh my gosh it's all above me look oh look at the padlocks that's really sweet. And pegs. You get some really unusual things in here. Erasers are still <laughs> £1.50. I like these notebooks. They're like iridescent. And they're only £5. What do we have here? Your love makes my heart spin and it spins. <laughs> oh, those boxes are nice. And look at the little doggies down there. What's this here? Oh look, oh hang on, I've dropped something. I'm in. Just got like pull outable postcards, which is quite nice. And um another lobster. Oh it's one of those oh my gosh, I remember them when I was at school where you push it and <laughs> looks like it's pooping. Oh it's a bunny. Oh, oh no it's not, it's a French <laughs> it's a French bulldog. Four pound. And uh, there's some Eastery bits here. We won't do that today. We'll pop back for Easter. But we've got some more Valentines here. These are sweet. They're cards as well. So you can give a card and it will have sweets attached for £2.50. And then you've got some really sweet little bags. I like those a lot. Those are only £3 to get a big bag. And you've got some chalky. And then other that chance like the Marks and Spencers one. I've done a Marks and Spencers Valentine's. If you want to have a look at it, it's on my last vlog. I will leave it linked for you. And there's wrap as well, look. And what's here? Oh. And, oh. Fun. And then once. Have we got any more around here? No, we haven't got any more on that side. We've got all these little bits. So I think that's our lot there for Valentine's. So that's Valentine's Day at a Tiger. I don't think this is specifically Valentine's, but I love this. It's a little sofa. It's soft like velour, and it's for storage. How lovely is that for your dressing table? That is so sweet. You can put your little rings. I'm tempted to get that. Thirteen pounds. Really sweet.
fact, it's Tuesday. Hey, guys and dolls. I hope you enjoyed coming with me for a little nip into the shops yesterday and seeing what Chelsea had for Valentine's. That was nice. I'm dried off now. <laughs> so um, I'm actually home a little bit earlier today, which is nice. I've given little Alfie a walk, so he's snoozing at my feet and had a bit of a quick change. I've got on my favourite jacket it's actually called retro romance <laughs> it's from river ireland i love it i've just got very simple black underneath and my trusty leather leggings and i really like these shoes with a zip so that's my outfit for today we're going to nip to fortnum's yay i'm so excited to go and see what they've got then how they've displayed their beautiful shop their website's fully loaded with stuff for lovers day so i hope we can see all of it that would be really good and then afterwards i'm actually going to the century club on shaftesbury avenue for a talk it's being given by a crime novelist called Cathy Unsworth and a chap who wrote a book on mod called Richard Waite and it talks about boho soho the birth of mod in the 1950s so I'm so excited for that I'm probably not going to be able to film because it's a members club although this event was just ticketed so I could go um, but I'll pop a little photo in because the venue looks amazing and I'm so so excited to be able to go in it <laughs> um, so yes so let's hope we don't get as wet today Let's go to Fortnum's. So, all the buses appear to be terminating here at Hyde Park Corner. So, I'm going to have maybe a trot through Green Park <laughs> to get to Fortnum's. We'll get there eventually, guys, won't we? Here we are. You know where we are if I point you here a bit more clearly. I don't know what's gone on or why they're terminating, but here we are. That's why, because they're resurfacing the road here on Park Lane. So we'll just have a little wander down to Fortnum's. They're making me work for my chocolates today. <laughs> guys i may have stopped off for a little coffee <laughs> that's why it's now dusk but Fortnum's looks beautiful in this light don't you think piccadilly we are gonna have a little butters at the windows obviously the ancient greeks believed that there were eight types of love Ooh, so, have a read songwriters swear it's in the air and all you need oh romantic or platonic utterly unconditional or still a work in progress love is love is love and the world needs a whole lot more of it and so to celebrate our new collection of graffiti hearts oh packaging okay that's unusual we've asked six street artists oh my to fill our windows with works inspired by what love looks like to them long <laughs> Fortnum's. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's gotten dark all of a sudden. What's occurring? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, that is graffiti ish, isn't it? Look at their lovely heart boxes. I like them on this white print, but this is kind of foreboding in the black. What do you think? I'll get to another window. Here's another. We haven't got any like Fortnum's things or anything. We've just got art. It's very unusual for Fortnum's, but you know, you've got to do something different, haven't you? It's um, a jumble of Mickey and Minnie Mouse. I know this artist. This was part of Kensington and Chelsea Art Week last year. I cannot remember. It doesn't say does it say on the window it might be but it's really small for me to see but i remember this pink bear was displayed in a boutique hotel in kensington so i think that's a thing and another um if you look at that it really messes with your eyes love messes with your head <laughs> 
that looks way better through my lens than it does in real life, to be honest. Work it out for me, guys, because... Oh, it's hands. Okay, right, you really have... Right, I'm looking through my lens and it's much clearer. There you go. Okay, if I stand here, in real life it looks red and black. It's changing things through my colouring of my camera, but it kind of looks more like arteries going to the heart. Maybe that's the intention. And another... Oh! That's kind of cool, is it not? I like that. I like the layers on it, I think, because it's like three-dimensional. We'll pop down the side. Down here we've got the stuff. We've got actual products like breakfast blend, a cobweb shaking, a morning making blend rich with notes of caramel, vanilla and apricot. Your choice of broadsheet optional. Telegraph for me, please. <laughs> I like this. This is cute. So this is more whimsical and what I associate Fortnum's with. Ah, oh, look at these. Anytime blend. So we're all about the coffee at Fortnum's in January. Love the big, big tins. I need a tin that big for my coffee in the morning. The Piccadilly blend, my personal fave. <laughs> they sell it in their restaurants. See, look, Brew delivers notes of dark chocolate, hazelnut and coffee. And look at the guy. He's ace. I want him in my kitchen. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Oh, look at this pretty, pretty one. The after dinner blend. Look at how lovely this is. Full bodied with toasty notes of praline and cocoa. This moonlit blend is just the stuff to enjoy with a sweet treat post feast. Woo! Mouthful. These are really sweet. I like these a lot. And I like the pink tin. King's blend and Queen's blend. I love the gold backdrops. See them front facing Valentine's ones? Should have had some gold. I thought they were a bit oppressive with the black, but. I suppose they showed up the arch through the best way it could do. Look at me hot air balloon up there. <laughs> How beautiful were these? I love the way they explain it to you. That just reminds me of that song. <laughs> um, explore our single origin coffee. Oh look, Panama. Esmeralda, what a beautiful name. And we have come to the end any more and I'll be in the restaurant. So let's head on in, shall we? Yay! Straight away. Oh, it's so nice to be back inside. I haven't been here since. Or I think I came up here for a little sneaky trip. Um, <laughs> day before Christmas Eve. <gasps> look at all this stuff here. I'll keep you rolling because I know you like to look at everything while I'm seeing it. I love the names Fortnum's have for things for Valentine's, like the Love Struck Hamper and the um, Prince Charming Hamper. Is this a little look? How cute! That little love bird in the box. And don't these look so so dreamy? How shiny! So you have this like graffiti packaging on the boxes. You can all look at the prices for me. Really sweet. Oh, look at those. Yummo. And then you also have like the special tea blends and everything down here. I'm going to move you down. It's really low. Sorry. They look really pretty on that shaped box, don't you think? And it's also on the tea caddies. Look at that. Bending. <laughs> so this is our first little display and opened up the little slip case to show you the love bird. So sweet. These are like what they do for Christmas with the gingerbread in the matchbox. I'm highly tempted by the chocolate covered raspberries, I must say. And another with the little iced biscuits. They are adorable, aren't they, in there? How sweet. And they've even got Valentine's cards. I love the Valentine's Day cards. I might not go through all of them, but let me just pull out a few for you. <laughs> Very classy. We've got some more of those. Oh my gosh, I love this pink. 
Oh, how nice do they sound? Tea cakes. How much are they? They are 18 just about. I love the biscuits too though. The pink packaging is lovely. If you like these Valentine's Day cards, you can probably find them online. There is the make the artist for you. I really like this little penguin one. It's so, so cute. They've got a few of those. What else have we got? Oh, that's nice. They're all like 3D, which is lovely. And then I've just come to the little casing. And there's your lovebirds. Aren't they so cute? They are they're probably my favourite thing so far. And I also like these the the clouds and the hot air balloons. Oh adorable. Of course, here in the centre we've got some hearts stretching all the way up and all the way down. I might nip down to the food hall actually, but these are like the same colouring that they have on the graffiti packaging tins. This is very pretty. See those tote bags over there on the support? I might actually pick one of them up today because I've got a Christmas one, which I'm really missing using. It's like the perfect size and shape, so I might get one of them for myself, for my shopping. Nice drinky poos for February the 14th. Antic tea for two. There's a little hello guys. There's a little bit of information there for you on flavouring. If you're interested, these are 14.95. And obviously you can keep the tin. Good names. The Lovebirds gift box 30. I think you get what do you get in there? Does it say on the back? Oh, I might be able to open it. No, I can't. Fail. Hang on. That's what you get inside for 35. Love these little hampers the most. They just remind me of Dorothy in Wizard of Oz. You get like a the one of the teas in there. I'm digging. I'm digging. I think there's one of the little lovebirds. I'm not sure what else. I don't want to get it all out. But that is um 80. Wow. Then you've got your lovely bubbles again. And then there's another hamper up there. I'm thinking that it might show me what's in it around the side. So let's go. There you go. I know you're all gazing at the chandelier as well, <laughs> like me. That's what's in the hamper. How delightful. That's what you're talking for. A nice bottle of Fortnum's plonk. And then this one with the O'Donnell label is... Da -da 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 -da. I'm so obsessed with these. I was in a charity shop the other day down the Fulham Road and they had the big, big one of these. And it, I'm talking, it was literally huge. And it was, they were asking 30 for it, but it was battered, else I would have got it. <laughs> My sweetheart, I always love to come over and show you an open box. That's how we look it inside. Don't they look delish? They are those ones. They're selling quite well though. People must like this packaging. I've actually got rose petals in. Rose petals. Oh, cute is the little shopping bag with truffles in. Adorable. I cannot not pay a little visit to my favourite part. <laughs> These little books of chocolate. I'm looking to see if there's a Valentine's one. I can see the Easter one. I cannot wait to pop back here for Easter, guys. You know how good Fortnum's does eggs. I love that so, so much. White chocolate carrot cake. <gasps> Look at these ones in a little box set. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. I love them. And there's another set. Milk chocolate, milk chocolate. They're just so lovely. Look. See? They're adorable. Sorry about the lighting going crazy because I'm under the spotlights. So many different flavours and it just looks so good on this little bookcase. Just as an aside, these are for the Lunar New Year. There you go. They are special for that. So they, they seem to be selling well. Look, there's a little bit over there, but I don't see them anywhere else. Tins. These are for the Lunar New Year as well because the packaging matches. They sound rather tasty. They're very light though. I love these tins. They are just the best. They are 19.95. They're just they're gorgeous. They're just an icon tin. I noticed Marks and Spencers have got some of their um, got one like that this year with the Penny Bazaar, the old Penny Bazaar with Marks and Spencers. That's way back. That is. 
nice and calm in Fortnum's this evening. Just a little view for you <laughs> with some hearts. A little milk chocolate tin. How sweet to match. I love this section. Look at the bark. I've just had a little hunt for the butterscotch truffles, which I'm pretty sure must have been a figment of my imagination. <laughs> But I enjoyed them being a figment of my imagination. Another of one of my favourite sections here. <gasps> Just look how gorgeous it all looks. It's so shiny. How do they do that? I love the little bags. Adorable. <laughs> I'm surprised they only have a hoover like that tiny. <laughs> For this immaculate carpet. I'm going to go downstairs, guys. I'm now on my, the hunt for the uh, Valentine's pork pie. Seen these? Look at the flasks and the water bottles in the old and new. Aren't they adorable? They're so nice. There's no price tags, but they might be around the other side. They are nice. Because of the graffiti theme, which is on the boxes, here, if you come across a member of staff wearing a red coat, they'll give you something and you, like, pin it to this heart. It's quite a novel idea. I'll keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> it's quite sweet. There you go. This is what it says. I'm now officially calling this Fortnum's Pink, and I love it. <laughs> there you go. So you can t take part and leave a bit of you in Fortnum's. I leave a bit of me in Fortnum's every time I visit. This like merch for the St John. Is it the new little restaurant? You can got like a little tote bag, like a drawstring bag, and then a little tote at the back there and a tea towel and these ones. If you know anything about that, there you go. I do like the hog. And then you have all these goodies behind. <laughs> which are beautifully displayed, yum, yum, and yum. Really nice. Book two. I've come out of Falklands and it's dismal. It's drizzling and not very good. And I just had a little look at the time and I need to be on my way to Shaftesbury Avenue for the talk, but I'm going to shelter in the warmth of Hatchars to see if they've got a book that I'm after. So guys, I was actually just on my way home. I was on the number 14 bus and um, I was going past Harvey Nichols and I saw that they had some really, really sweet looking windows. So even though it's closed now, I thought we'd go and have a little butcher, shall we? Oh, they look really sweet from the top deck of the bus. So let's hope they're good down here. Okay, so this is the big corner one. It's an actual heart. I love this. This is so cool. Look at all the veins going. Arteries away, veins in, right? <laughs> Look at it, it's actually pumping and you can see the heartbeat through it. I love this. What are the models? Ooh, it's very, it's very surgical, isn't it? <laughs> I love that, I think that's so good. The beat is so good, that's obviously a heartbeat pulse. Wow, and this model here, I like that top a lot. Ooh. What have we got going on? That's just there. And this one's pulsing as well. This is like a black heart. Oh, through it there. I love shop windows. I've got like a real thing for them. <laughs> That's really ace. Look how it's lighting up. I love it. I love the way Harvey Nichols do their windows because it actually illuminates the street. Wow. And what have we got along here? Nice evening for a stroll in along Knightsbridge. Oh, yum! This one here. Oh, it's all been struck by Cupid's arrows. Oh, I love that. So good. I've always wanted to do that as a decoration inside. And they've done a massive version. Look at the arrows on the floor. What? The clothes? <laughs> it looks like... That looks like someone's got away. <laughs> they've, they've legged it out the way of Cupid's arrow. And these loved up ones here. They don't look very happy, do they? <laughs> That's really nice. I like this. I'm going to take some photos of these afterwards. Ooh. Oh, hang on. Love that coat. 
love that. I don't want to get in that lady's way. What's going on? Oh, these are like clocks. Oh, wow. One sec, guys. There you go. They are clocks. And they've got like the bits. I think, and the other one's got that as well. I don't think so. They're like the valves coming out of the heart again. They're, are they counting down or up? I like the pendulum. And then you've got these, like the veins again. And I like the way they've put their stuff inside the uh, hearts. This is so ingenious. I'm really glad I saw these on the way home. I wonder if there's any more up there. I'll have a look. This is the one I saw from the bus because I saw the, um, like the ECG <laughs> line, neon flashing. Imagine that. And then you've got these neon hearts as well. And I like the way they've projected the ECG onto the back wall as well. See? How good is this? Oh, I love it. Harvey Nicks are so good at their windows lately. I loved their Christmas ones as well. Those little bobble-headed men. And look at this. Oh, this one's like all wire. And you can see the red through it. Through it. And look at all the neons coming out. I should probably step back so you can see these a bit better. I just don't like getting in people's way when they're hurrying to the tube. I love all the flashing. What's what's up here? What's up here? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> I'll nip down the side just in case because sometimes they put some stuff down there. There's a couple of windows down the side. These are like little children <laughs> ones or like teen. Look, what are they doing? They're feeding the cables in. Oh, wow. Okay. And then there's, oh. Look, they've got, oh, these are like the um, Banksy portrait, <laughs> the balloon. Look. So sweet. They've got little wire heart balloons. And she's holding one as well. And then, oh, another, another. Oh, like, look at the little backless tree. And then you've got some more of the Cupid arrows with a lovely red neon. So you've hidden those down the side. I wonder if there's any in the Sloan Street bit. Oh, those hearts look like sweets, those decorations. How oh, sweet in a little, little red bag. I love. So good. So I'm just on my way. Wasn't that good? I really enjoyed those. Um, yeah, good windows, Harvey Nichols. I'm glad I spotted them. Very eye-catching from the top deck of the bus. But I'm on my way home now, but Harrods is blue. Look, <laughs> I think they had an event here in the week because I saw a picture of Anna Wintour, but we'll have to pop back and see what's okay, happening at Harrods. It's blue. There you go. Friday guys and dolls we made it to the end of the week I really hope you've had a good one I'm just putting this vlog together now so you can enjoy it hopefully over the weekend thank you so much for coming with me as always I enjoy shopping with you all <laughs> I'm actually just off out to Bond Street now for something new that's opening. I cannot envisage how it's going to be, so I'm pretty excited to see. Um, you can enjoy it with me in next week's vlog. And until then, have a really, really good weekend. Loads of love from London, Queenie.